my Gemini, my Yanny Yang Gemini, yeah. What's up, twins? What's popping? <laughs> Y'all cutting people off, cutting people up with the shits, telling people straight the fuck up with it, T.I.S. <laughs> <laughs> hey, boo head, this is first time you're on my channel. I'm Mocha. Also, if this is first time you're on my channel, look out, I cuss. May cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. But if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube, because I'm a cuss, all right? To the new subscribers, hey, y'all. We're only dysfunctional. Welcome to the family, all right? We don't fight and fuss. We need that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss, we grow, we love, we share, we enlighten. Positive vibes only over here, okay? Return to family. Hey, boo. I know y'all, y'all like, oh, look at Mocha trying to. Yeah, I, I'm still late and shit. But, you know, shit happens. And when it happens, you know, shit happens. All right? So, I still love you a long time. Just know shit was popping off over here in my world. What's going on with y'all? <laughs> You know what? I had definitely enjoyed Gemini season. It really brought out my inner child, my goofy shit. I laughed. I thought some of the most asshole this shit was funny. I, I'm sorry. It just it just made me laugh. I have a Gemini Venus, and I was loving accordingly. Okay. <laughs> so with that said, y'all, this this y'all listen. We ain't praying. We gonna work on it. Ain't is we not the problem? Okay. I, we and, and we stick it to it. It's it's not already been. We ain't the problem. We're going to dig into it, though, to see what the hell wrong with everybody else. All right? If you need this, uh, it, it, this is, y'all, this is general. It's not going to resonate with everybody, okay? If you need something more uh, resonant or just particularly for you, you can get a personal reading. It's in the description below, all right? Um, you guys, this will be from now to the end of June. I will be back with July messages, and we can get into it. Y'all know Gemini's don't like to raise. Y'all got shit to do. Y'all impatient. Y'all have to be Aries in past lives because y'all don't be fucking playing, okay? <laughs> We're going to start with your intuitive messages, you all. Um, thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, y'all. I truly appreciate it. Um, and I'm going to ask that you continue to do so. Let's rock. The intuitive messages that I got for Gemini for I'm now to the end of the month. I got receipts. I got free yourselves. I got stalker. Karmic returns. Legalities. Gossip. Vindictive relations. Second chances, temper, murky waters, mask off, rapid manifestation, hidden intentions, financial windfalls, unexpected payout, spiritual warfare, poking the bear, perception, heart chakra, sacral chakra. All right, so this is what I got for you all intuitively. Overall reading around, overall reading, overall energy around the reading, I got the King of Diamonds, okay? So a lot of you all are communicating straightforward. You let people know, you just like Aries, you're checking shit at the door. Some of you all are in, you're, you're sitting in your power. You're sitting on your damn throne. Nothing, nothing will disturb my throne. But I hear your bullshit down there, okay? Now your stones can't reach me. But I'm finna come address that shit. Not going to... Tilt my crown, tilt my damn crown just a little bit. But if I gotta cut your ass out of had a had a damn guards put your ass up out the palace, I have no problem with doing so. Okay. First angel message you guys got: overcoming difficulties. Yes, Archangel Jeremiah. The worst is now behind you, and you are surmounting any previous challenges, okay? So hold on, gems. Hold on. Speak your truth. There is a need for you guys to be very active with the throat chakra. You don't have to pop off to speak your truth. Sometimes it's a little witty shit. Sometimes you can even dress it up and make it cute, <laughs> but let a motherfucker know, right? But there is a need for you all to um, surrender this need to control things, okay? For Because I'm definitely hearing control for some of you all. Things are out of your control, but they're out of your control. Some of y'all are literally being forced into change and you have this ancestral backing okay for some of you all there are things intervening divine intervention that is helping you assist and push through um to this new consciousness to this new um level of evolution for some of you all some of y'all may be taking trips some of y'all may be going um to some place that has mountains and thinking about moving 
Others of you may be finding feathers along your path that your ancestors wanted you to know that you are protected, you are safe in any decision that you choose to make. And I'm hearing that no way is the wrong way, Gems. Okay, that, that goes for some of you all. The next angel message that you guys got was Claire Cognitive. Claire Cognitive. Archangel Uriel. Pay attention to the thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers, okay? So, Gems, there's a need. I'm, I'm hearing synchronicity. So, some of you all could be seeing synchronicities by the threes, the twos, the fives. Others of you, this could be coming in by the eights and the nines. Some of you all, there is a sense of karmic justice. You guys coming out on top, okay? So, if you were dealing with a situation where you needed to uh, speak up and defend yourself, there's a need for you to, to, to surrender and worry about how things are going to go. Spirit is letting you know that you are going to come out on top. Okay, for some of y'all, there could be some type of tie to you and Aries as well, because I definitely see that um, there's, again, for you guys, a confirmation comes in the form of a rainbow to your prayers, okay? Others of you, you're standing up for what you believe in. Some of you all also have some type of uh, wishes when it comes to moving forward in, in an authoritative field. I am here. I am saying that you are going to be hearing positive news about that, okay? But there's a need for you guys to shift your way of thinking. There's a reprogramming that needs to occur with Gemini because I definitely feel like some of you all just perceive the ne perceive negative aspects of things first before you even be optimistic about how things could how things could play out. Instead of looking at what could go wrong because of what you don't have, look at what the fuck is all popping because of what you already have to add to it, even if it's just strategy. Manifesting is simply doing and believing in what you're doing in order to see the vision come to fruition, baby. Let's get it. But I do see you guys, um, positive conversations around you all. I do feel the energy of someone trying to come through and poke the bear, but spirit is letting you know that you are protected. Some of you all may have some type of earth angel encounter during this during this time. I definitely feel like spirit is sending you some type of direct help. I'm feeling a finger like direct direct source direct help from source pointing you in the direction in which you need to go. This direction is going to test everything in which you believe that you cannot do, but you are being literally catapulted and pushed, thrusted into your life purpose, okay? Some of y'all is around children, other than you it's around the elderly, and some of y'all is both of them. Let's get it. Spirit, what messages do you have for my gems in love from now to the end of June? Some of you guys got a Leo, Cap Leo Capricorn. Some of y'all could be a Leo and a Capricorn. Others of you, there's a Leo, okay? There could be there could be someone that you're very passionate about. This person could be from your past, okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you, yeah. Some of you are moving away from an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? Others of you, this person wants to come forward. They want to come and build something with you. And for some of you all, you're needing time to think about it. You're just not trusting the situation, okay? Some of you all are very passionate about a cancer or this cancer wants to move towards you. They see you as uh, some type of, like, some type of, they see you as home. They said home space, some type of home space, okay? But for some of you all, you're being resistant towards it. You'd rather be by your damn self. Fuck all of that. Others of you could be dealing with the sign of Virgo. You're kind of contemplating during this time if you want to uh, go back into a cycle that you were once passionate about. Or if you just want to focus on moving forward, focus on the new, okay? If this is even worth moving forward and building, is there going to be reciprocity, okay? Some of you all could be receiving some type of information regarding a Scorpio, okay? That is going to allow you to possibly um, either release or move forward in a situation or a situation. Some of y'all going to have some type of perception shift. You're going to be receiving some type of information that allows you to heal or release a situation and move closer to, first off, standing back, put you back in your damn power, but standing, move you closer to a life partner or a soulmate. Others of you may be dealing with um, possibly another Gemini like yourself, and there may be being some type of tower moment, or could have happened, but there could have been some type of tower moment around the full moon. Others of you, you're going to have some type of aha moment. When it comes to reciprocity, also I'm hearing the laws of karma, okay? Others of you, someone is coming in to, set, to shake some shit up in your world. They want to heal a dynamic. Others of you, this has to do with some type of financial help. So if you have, um, this could be some type of family dynamic. If you have children with a person who possibly wasn't helping you in the past, this person now wants to come in and offer their help. They also see you as someone, they see you as a damn empress. They want to build. Some of you all could be uh, releasing yourself possibly from a fire sign. Or moving toward the fire sign after releasing yourself from a situation that involved a Libra, Pisces, uh, Virgo, 
Taurus, Aries. Some of you all, some of you all are resisting. Some of y'all are resisting dealing with a fire sign. Or this person could be resisting you. And I feel like there's some type of resistance around some type of information coming to the forefront. Possibly regarding a Taurus, Leo, um, Aquarius, Scorpio. This could have to do with the, with the soul contract, past life. This also could have to do with family, okay? Some of you all could possibly be reconciling with someone from your past, okay? Or intuitively, you've been getting hitches and niches that someone is trying to come back and return to you. I'm hearing um, I'm hearing rectifying. I'm also hearing karmic returns, okay? So let's clarify some shit, y'all. Let's clarify some shit. Why is the high priestess here? Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with the sign of cancer. You could be wanting to be with this person. Some of y'all could be finding out that you're pregnant possibly by cancer. Congratulations, baby. Most of the kids, by the way. And some of y'all, there's victory in moving forward, possibly away or towards a fire sign. That is, I feel like if this person is coming back, some of you all are reconciling. But for some of you all, you could have been dealing with someone that is, mm, they're not new to you, but they new to you. Like you guys haven't had any, any major history with one another, but I feel like this person could be someone new. You could have walked away from this person due to self work, telling this motherfucker what you will not accept. This person is wanting to come in and balance some shit out for you with you. Okay, they get it now, Gemini. They sorry. Why is the high priestess here? Some of y'all could be seeing two, two, two during this time. Things are being balanced out. I'm hearing, even if they may feel like they're falling all over the place. Okay, for some of you, I got the eight of. Well, to clarify the high priestess, I got the eight of spades and the six of pentacles, okay? Well, pentacles, six of clubs, okay? I definitely feel like some of you all could have moved away from a Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, another fire sign, earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. For some of you all, this was intuitively, because you intuitively knew that this person was trying to build elsewhere, and you just wasn't going to be an option, so you moved away from this person, and they own, they, they had a recent tile moment, so now they want to come back. Now they say, okay, you was right, Gemini, I was wrong. I guess you knew all along that my relationship and shit was a joke. Some of you all could be moving away from someone due to the fact that you, somebody was dealing with a third party and got pregnant by the third party. Bam. Okay. Some of y'all could have manifested moving forward or moving, actually building something with the cancer. You finna get what you want, but it's going to be after possibly walking away from possibly a Virgo that's trying to come in in your life and stir some shit up. Okay. I asked about, yeah, some of you all, some of y'all, you were dealing with someone who you could be finding out they are, they got somebody pregnant, baby, or they had an outside family or outside relations, a third party. This is a time for you to heal, baby. And ultimately, this is only a catalyst situation to free you from this situation so that you can be independent. And guess what? You walk right into a situation that is not only flourishing, but the coin looks damn good. Others of you, this has to do with you freeing yourself from a job and actually focusing on your business endeavors, entrepreneurship, loans. Business, uh, any type of like business opportunities looks good, Gemini. Why is the hermit here? Why is the hermit here? Yeah, some of y'all, some of you guys are indecisive or mentally confused possibly about if you want to start something up with the Virgo. If you even want to accept love or do you want to continue being defensive towards it and just focus on that bag and build it, build that security because there seems to be a fear around letting love in because for some of you all you feel as if, if when you let love in your love is stirred by your security or your love or your security is stirred up by love like you, you have to end up finding yourself starting over again. Some of y'all are being defensive towards the damn Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, or Scorpio. you like, no, I want new. Push your ass off the cliff. Bye. Fifi, hi, Frank. Get your ass on. Why's the world card here? Hmm, yes, because I got something new. That's why. New shit. I don't want that old shit. Don't want that old thing back. No, I don't. Hmm. <clears throat> and for some of y'all, somebody's returning, not looking for you. They're looking for you to resist, but they're not looking for you to completely hand their ass the scissors. Cut it, because I've cut it. Why is the tower here with the four swords? Yes, truth. Truth and clarity, a new perspective, something that is being revealed, some type of shakeup. 
It's bringing Aaron shit up, Aaron shit out to move you where you supposed to be with your lover. Why are the lovers here? Who is this lover? Who knows you? Some of y'all, your lover is an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of y'all, your lover is a damn cancer, Scorpio. Some Pisces. Hell, all the water signs here. Some of y'all, your lover is a Libra. Some of y'all, your lover is a Virgo. Some of y'all, your lover is a another damn Gemini. I feel like if you're dealing with another, yeah, if you're dealing with another Gemini, some of you guys could be reconciling with another Gemini. Some of you all are reconciling with the Twin Flame. who could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. After you get the truth about some shit, you're no longer allowing somebody to come in with no damn truth. What you got? You checking that shit at the door? Somebody owe you some money? Gemini coming like, I forgive you. No, I really do. You know, but how sorry is you type shit? Because if I let you in, you're going to play these games and I don't got time for it. Six of Pentacles. Yeah. Past life. Okay, someone from the past wants to equally give and take now. We moved away from them and let them know I'm not with them. I don't know what you used to, baby, but me? <laughs> I ain't with the shits. All right? So, because you moved away from this person, because you showed this person what you will and will not allow in your life, now this person is wanting to come in, baby. They want to fix it. They want to start over. They want to bring expansion. They want to come and add to grow something to grow from, okay? And for some of you all by accepting this offer, okay, the spirit says move slowly, but you are moving towards victory and ending ending a cycle where you feel as if you were trying to hold on to it because of what you've been invested, okay? But some of y'all, this could have to do with the earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo, but you're ending karmic cycles. That damn wheel is turning and allowing Gemini to get the hell up out of there. What's that investment? Guess what? I'm the Empress, motherfucker. I, 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 I will invest in my damn self. And what? Bow. ta out. Watch out now. This one, and it's not Bow Wow. <laughs> it's a twin, bitch. I got to go. All right? So some of you all will possibly actually be, um, be actually moving. All right? But there's definitely an energy. Some of y'all got a Gemini, another Gemini that wants to hold on to you. And some of y'all could be hearing some information that's going to allow you to free yourself from that situation altogether. Those of you dealing with Scorpio or uh, Cancer Pisces, this is definitely past life. There could have been someone giving to two people. Now they want, they had a damn reality check. Now they want to wake it up and give to you only, you and you only, okay? Others of you got um, an earth sign. This could also be a Pisces wanting to hold on to you. They even willing to bribe you to do it. To prevent you from ending this cycle. But Gemini like, mm -mm. I gotta go. I gotta leave. So please don't make it hard for me. I gave enough. I'm tired of love. I gotta let it go. Oh. Vivian Green. Because I got an Ace of Pentacles waiting on me. I got the coin. And I got options. I have a new love new career sector moving into my life path i'm healing the last thing i was waiting on was the truth and, and the scissors bye bye okay so you guys let me know how this resonates this is some this is some tea here this is some beautiful shit though self-worth is the best way to go you don't let nobody question it or not make you question that in your damn world okay girl this is what i'm talking about twins i love y'all so very much if you need the personal Hit me up and you guys stay looking at them community tabs because I'm going to that my plan is to run specials all summer because by fall I will be traveling and popping up in a damn state near you. Okay? So I love y'all very much. Peace, blessings, namaste, y'all. And toodles family, I see y'all in July. Bye y'all.